Hello! In this Vago tutorial, we show how to import certificates for secure HTTPS connection to a controller with a Linux operating system and a controller with a Nucleus operating system. As an example for the Linux controller, we use the Compact Controller CC100 and as an example for the Nucleus system, we use the Basic Controller BC100. There are various ways to buy certificates or generate them yourself. For this example, we created and exported the certificates ourselves using the XCA software. XCA is a graphical interface based on OpenSSL. The XCA program can be downloaded from heise.de or homestead.de, where you will also find instructions for creating certificates. Links are in the video description. When creating certificates for a controller, it must be ensured that the IP address of the controller is entered in the common name and in the subject alternative name. The export format must be PEM with the file extension .crt for the root certificate and PEM plus key with the file extension .pem for the CC100 in the basic controller. Since we have created the certificates by ourselves, we first have to tell the web browser that we are also a trusted certification authority. We do this by importing the root CA certificate into the web browser. In this example, we use the Edge browser, but other common browsers work the same way or very similarly. In the settings section, we search for certificates. The manage certificates section is displayed and we open it with a double click. In the manage certificates window, we first go to the tab trusted root certification authorities. Click on import and the import assistant opens. We are greeted warmly and click on Next. Now we use the Browse button to select the My Root CA certificate and go Next. The preview selected certificate store Trusted Root Certification Authorities is displayed as a storage location and we click on Next. And then on Finish. The import was successful and we confirm with OK. We can now find our My Root CA certificate in the Trusted Root Certification Authorities tab and we can close the window. Now we start with the Compact Controller CC100. When we log into the web-based management, a security warning appears that we do not have an encrypted HTTPS connection here. After importing the certificate to the CC100, a secure connection is displayed here. The CC100 has a Linux operating system such as the PFC202. In order to transfer the certificates and keys to the controller, we use the FTP client WinSCP. Other FTP clients such as FileZilla also work of course. We open WinSCP and enter as new session under host name the IP address of the CC100, the username root and the password. After successful login we are in the root directory. We go and folder up and go to the etc folder and then to the lighttpt folder. The certificate file https certpem is now displayed here. We first create a backup copy by duplicating the file and adding an underscore to the file name for example. Now we search for the certificate chain cc100.pem created with XCA on the left side. Open it with a double click, select the entire file content and copy the file content to the clipboard. On the right side, i.e. on the controller, we now also double click the certificate file https certpem and replace the content here with Select everything, delete and paste. Do not forget to save and the certificate is stored in the controller. The controller must be restarted for the certificate to be activated. Once the controller has started up again, we log into the web-based management with the Edge browser, a security warning no longer appears and a secure HTTPS connection is indicated by the closed lock. The basic controller has a Nucleus operating system. Certificates can be imported in the web-based management for controllers with a Nucleus operating system. To do this, we log into the web browser with our IP address for the basic controller and get to the web-based management. The connection is displayed as not secure. Below the global menu area is the security menu. On the security side, we can install web server certificates here. 
We start with the root certificate, click on Upload, the file explorer opens and we select the created MyRootCA certificate. Confirm with OK and wait until the certificate is uploaded. Then we click on Upload for the server certificate including the private key. Now select the BC100 certificate, confirm with OK and wait until the certificate has been uploaded. We then install the certificate and when the installation is completed, a message appears that the controller must be restarted. We restart both, web server and the BC100 and log back into the web base management. The security warning no longer appears and with a close lock we are now shown a secure HTTPS connection.